Hello, my name is Aaron. I'm a technical marketing engineer on Cisco's SD-WAN product team. And in this presentation, we're going to be discussing Cisco SD-WAN analytics. In today's network, it's often difficult to pinpoint problems, get real-time information on application performance, and monitor utilization of the WAN. The WAN quite often is a blind spot to many network administrators. And as more and more organizations adopt the cloud, visibility and control over this infrastructure becomes paramount. Cisco vAnalytics is the cloud-hosted solution designed to help remediate that blind spot. vAnalytics works by collecting telemetry from a Cisco SD-WAN-enabled network. Things such as flow information, events, connectivity-related statistics, and inventory. Throughout the course of normal day-to-day -day operation, vManage becomes a repository for most of this data. And while it can readily be viewed in raw format through the vManage dashboard, it can also be pushed securely via API to the vAnalytics service in the cloud. Keep this in mind when enabling the vAnalytics engine as your vManage deployment option, whether cloud-hosted or on-prem, does play a role in how data is transmitted to this service. Now, as the name would imply, this telemetry is then analyzed for patterns of availability, usage, anomalies, or other issues. Analyzed data is then outputted through two lenses from a network perspective and an application perspective. Depending on the nature of the issue at hand, either avenue can be used to explore the problem. So let's take a look at the dashboard for a moment. Upon logging into the solution, you'll be placed in the summary view. This view is where all analysis bubbles up, whether it's network related or application related. Notice that most of the widgets are interactable as well. So if you see something that captures your attention, simply click on it to gain some additional context. For a more application-centric view, click on the application dashboard. Again, notice that most widgets can be interacted with. Simply hovering your mouse over the graph or clicking on a data point will bring up additional context. Should you want to take a more targeted approach at reviewing your data, notice the options along the left-hand pane. Clicking on the Applications, Application Family, and Application Class tabs will provide you with application analysis from a broad to granular perspective. Here we can see a broad view of how aggregate classes of traffic are performing across our sites. This can be helpful in determining whether the issue is affecting larger groups of applications or is specific to a single application. Alternatively, by clicking on the Applications tab, we can get a substantially more granular look at application performance by individual application. Notice that this output can be filtered and resorted based on your tastes to hone in on a specific problem. When reviewing transport or circuit-related issues, it may be advantageous to review the network sections as well. Here, you'll notice that most of the data output is very similar to that of vManage, though it's been augmented with additional statistics to provide more context. As a reminder, all of this can be filtered to hone in on specific areas of interest as well. Lastly, using the same analyzed data, administrators can now make informed decisions about how to invest future WAN resources. As an example, after reviewing the traffic profile of a particular branch, you may notice that the ISP you've selected consistently has high latency to and from cloud resources your users are accessing. Comparing this data can help you make an informed decision about which ISP you wish to invest in moving forward, one that might lower overall loss and latency with regards to the applications that are strategic to this branch. I'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes to review the vAnalytics service and dashboard with me. Stay tuned for additional videos on specific use case workflows in the future.